first, let me hop out my slip resistant shoes. I ain't wanna go to work, but I know I got to. Bojangles Bars. <laughs> Now, I don't care what none of y'all say, my summer was great, alright? I was able to sit there and go to Alaska, that was fun. If you guys haven't seen that, I got a whole playlist of videos of just the awesome Alaska stuff, alright? And not only that, but I was able to go to camp and do a bunch of awesome things, and just this summer was great, alright? But guess what, guys? Summer's over! And since most of the people in my city have already started school, I'm here to spit some knowledge. Knowledge is power. So here's what I'm going to call Baba P's High School Survival Guide. First off, you need to know how to deal with waking up early in the morning for no good reason. Cause let's really think about it. What reason do they have for having school that early in the morning? We could start school at like 10 o'clock and like still get out at a decent time. And then we would still have enough time to be, you know, educated and edumacated or whatever you want to call it. We'd have enough time, but you know what they want to do? They want to get turn us into zombies, having us waking up at 10 o'clock in the morning or earlier. Sometimes waking up at 8 because you forgot to set your alarm. So you got to know how to set your alarm, boy. Set your alarm, girl. Because if you don't know how to set your alarm, you're gonna end up in a lot of mess. I'll tell you that for sure. Second thing you gotta know is, you gotta know how to deal with annoying people. I'm telling you, there are some annoying people in high school. There are people that you only wanna sit next to. You, They smell stanky, their breath smells stanky, they look stanky, everything about them stank. But you still gotta be near them, so you gotta learn how to deal with them. So this is what I've learned. If people annoy you, all you gotta do is sit there and sit in your little corner. Then look at them. Cause they ain't gonna look at you. They ain't gonna look at you if you looking at them. Cause they gonna get scared. They ain't gonna do nothing. Cause they scared. If people get on your last nerves, you can just go across the room and do whatever. Because you only have to see them at school for that limited amount of time. Don't let that ruin your life. Keep going on with your life and be like, yo, I'm gone. And then walk out and then don't even pay attention to them. Even if the teacher tells you, hey, you gotta work with them on a group project, let them know. Be like, I can't work with Johnny. I can't you work with Johnny. Because Johnny crazy. Second, you need to learn how to deal with annoying teachers. All right, now, annoying teachers is a little bit different. Because you can't deal with it the same way that you can deal with annoying students. See, like, with students, you can just simply walk across the room, but when they're teachers, you actually have to deal with them because if not, you'll probably get a bad grade. So here's one of the things you can do. If you figure this out early that they already get on your nerves, then drop the class before you can get before you can get yourself a penalty for it. I'm telling you, just drop the class. Get out. Like don't even look back. Like they're gonna be like, hey yo, what's your name? And after you just gonna keep walking. Just keep walking to that office, get that dropout slip, and then never come back. That's all you gotta do. Or you could do what one of my friends did and just never show up. That works too, but that one might mess up your GPA. Just a little bit. But if you have one of those late blooming teachers that end up being annoying later on in the year, then you can't drop because then you'll get a penalty. But what you do is you just sit there and you try to keep limited interaction with them. Only answer their questions if they call on you. And even then you hesitate. Because then, they won't sit there and be like, alright, I'm annoyed at this. You take me forever to answer my questions. I ain't gonna talk to him. Save you so much time, save you so much effort. The next thing you gotta know is, chill, bruh. Life is not as hard or as difficult or as whatever you think it is in high school. Like, I mean, yeah, we have problems here. Yeah, we have issues that come up, but don't be getting too stressed out about it. If you get too stressed out about high school, you end up being one of those people that never enjoys high school because you're sitting there worried about it the whole time. The last and most important thing that you need to know about high school is just be yourself, man. I don't know, a lot of people, they're going to be sitting there saying stuff, they're going to be like, yo, you weird. Well, people, I mean, people said that to me all the time, because I was weird. I'm still weird. But, 
that don't even, that's not even a big deal because people will learn to enjoy your weirdness, whatever it is. If you like to sit on Tumblr all the time and roll around and watch Supernatural, that's you. If you want to sit there and listen to rap music while you're driving your um, Ford or something and you sit there, got a rebel flag on the back, that's all you. Just be yourself. Don't be sitting there getting all freaked out about how people are going to react about who you are or who you is. Just be yourself. I'm telling you, you'll have so much more fun if you just be yourself and all that. Now, I hope you guys are listening because this is good stuff. If you liked it, if you thought it was funny, if you think a friend needs to see it, then go ahead and share this. Share this to every friend that's starting high school, that's gotten through high school, that's, um, I don't know, thinking about high school. I don't care if you show your grandma. Just show people, share it, it'll be funny. If you thought it was funny, then share it. If you thought it was really funny, like it on YouTube. If most of all, just, um, high school, like, if you want to live through high school, just follow the guide. Uh, okay? Oh, and I also forgot. If you leave a comment, your comment could possibly be in the next video. And if you have any questions or something like that, put it down below and I'll be willing to answer your random or ridiculous or dumb question. I don't care what it is. But, obviously, I know what your first question is going to be. What are those?